Hello and welcome to Read Aloud Stories with Mrs. R. I'm Mrs. Rosenthal, but a lot of kids like to call me Mrs. R. Have you ever had big changes in your life? Well, maybe your mom had a baby, or you moved to a new home, or you changed schools. Big changes can be challenging. In the book I'm about to read, the main character is a girl whose family is moving, but she doesn't want to even though it would be good for her family and her. The title of the book is Going North. Going North by Janice N. Harrington. Pictures by Jérôme Lagarigue. At Big Mama's house, everyone sits around the supper table talking about life up north. Everyone talks and talks about how much better the north is, how Daddy can find a good job there, and how I can go to a better school. But isn't it good here? Can't we just stay? I don't want to go. I want to stay in Big Mama's kitchen, helping her turn the butter. Up, down, up, down, ta-womp, ta-womp. Swapping the stories and watching Big Mama knife scrape a sweet potato, dragging its blade across orange pulp and sharing a sweet treat. I don't want to go, I tell Big Mama. But going north day hurries to our door like it's tired of our slow pokey ways. Everybody comes to say goodbye. Uncles, aunts, cousins too. Brother, baby sister and me picked up, put down, passed around and tickle twirled all over the place. Everyone says, goodbye, we'll miss you. I slip off my shoes and push my feet into the rusty sand. I wish my toes were roots. I'd grow into a pin oak and never go away. Would they let me stay if I were a tree? Car loaded. Everything packed. Goodbye said. We're almost ready. I run to Big Mama one last time. She hugs me tight. Take care of your mama, she says. Be a good girl, Jessie. Y'all take care. Bye-bye, Big Mama. Bye-bye. Our station wagon pulls away, banana bright, rolling, rolling down a red dirt hill. We're going north. Goodbye, Big Mama. Goodbye, Papa Lop. We are going north, leaving Alabama far behind. We're going north in a yellow station wagon. Mama, Daddy, brother, baby sister and me looking out, looking at the world gone by. Red sand and cotton fields. Pines marking the sky, like black crayons, listening to the tires, make a road drum, a road beat. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Kudzu vines covering everything. Kudzu leaves, like big green hands, clapping, clapping and waving to us. Brother pointing at all he sees. Baby sister bouncing on my lap, lap, lap. And mama helping daddy, checking the map. Daddy's eyes steady on the road, then studying the gas gauge, measuring the miles. Going by an old man selling peaches. Going by tin roofs, front porches. Going by brown girls jumping rope, rope, rope. Brown legs flying high. Maybe later they'll play Little Sally Walker. Do they play Little Sally Walker in the north? Do they play ring games? Oh, wipe your weeping eye. Oh, wipe your weeping eye. Cotton fields stretch out, brown shoulders dragging croaker sacks, brown fingers picking cotton under a red pepper sun. We're going on. Cotton fields getting smaller, going by. Even the people getting smaller, going by. Mississippi on and on, Mississippi, Mississippi going by. Lunchtime, are you hungry? Picnic basket and paper plates. Big Mama's tea cakes, potato salad and lemonade, cold chicken and cornbread. The car smells like chicken. Our fingers taste salty sweet. We're riding in a lemonade car, a yellow station wagon heading north. Sitting in the back, I see a big world. I hear the tires bumping, beating out. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Down the road, and the baby's crying. Mama's singing, Hush, hush. Brother's fussing. Hush, hush. Daddy's watching the gas gauge. 
It's running out, child, running out. Where will we go, Daddy? Where will we go? Hush now, quiet now. Daddy's got to drive. Gas gauge getting low, getting low. Can't stop just anywhere. Only the Negro stations. Only the Negro stores. Mama's praying. Sees another town up ahead. Daddy's searching, looking out, holding the wheel knuckle tight. Even brother seems to know. Baby's quiet. Won't even cry. Will we make it? Will this place serve Negroes? Gas gauge says, almost gone. Almost gone. Joe's gas up ahead. Plenty of Negro faces. Plenty of Negro smiles. Daddy breathes a heavy sigh. Mama hugs baby sister tight, tight, tight. Brother wants candy. Me too, me too. Joe comes smelling like gasoline and fills our tank. Y'all gotten it close, he says. Daddy sighs and shakes his head. We're on the road again, moving fast. Car filled with gasoline. Brother wearing a chocolate bar. Mama's hand on Daddy's shoulder. Long road, but we're moving fast, moving fast. I think about Daddy's hands, all knuckle tight. I think about Mama's prayer and the gas gauge running out. Maybe the North will be better. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Arkansas now, and it's getting late. Still a long way to go. Sister's asleep on Mama's lap. Brother's curled up, puppy tied. But I'm looking out. Ink black, soot black, skillet black night. The road hurtling by. Mom and Daddy talking in low voices. Outside I see stars and the Big Dipper. We're following the Big Dipper, going north. More stars than I can count. Blue and white like dashboard lights. They're gleaming in and I'm looking out. Sleepy now. Nighttime rolling by. The road whispers. The tires mumble. Good night, good night. Good night. Daybreak, and Daddy beside the road, tired, stretching, seeing the way ahead, all of us waking up. Missouri Stone, Missouri Hills. Are we there yet? Almost there. We're leaving Dixie. Almost there. Will I like the North? Honey, I don't know. The road drums. The road beats. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Are we there yet? Almost there. Will we be there soon? Almost there. And then? Welcome to Nebraska, the sign says. This is it. No more cotton fields. No more red sand. No more June bugs on a cotton string. Instead, I see black dirt everywhere. Black magic. North magic. Nebraska rolling by on a grassy rug. Brother presses his nose against the window. Baby sister sniffle sighs, sniffle sighs. Mama soothes us with her smile. But I just keep staring out, looking and looking, until finally I see Lincoln, 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 Nebraska. We're here now, Daddy says. Gonna start a brand new life. We're gonna be pioneers. Daddy, Mama, brother, baby sister, and me, all pioneers. All looking out, hearing a heart drum. Be brave, be brave, be brave. We're together, pioneers. A note from the author. My family moved from Vernon, Alabama to Lincoln, Nebraska, during the summer of 1964. Like other African Americans, my parents moved north to find good jobs and better schools for their children and to escape segregation. Especially in the South, African Americans couldn't live in the same neighborhoods, attend the same schools, or even ride in the same sections of trains or buses as white Americans. Traveling through the South was difficult and even dangerous for African American families. They often couldn't find motels, gas stations, or restaurants that would serve them or treat them fairly. Things that white Americans could take for granted, 
drinking from a water fountain, going to the restroom, or sitting in a park were challenges for Negro families. Which drinking fountain could they use? Where could they sit? Will this place serve Negroes? Leaders such as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and thousands of men, women, and children fought hard to change the laws and end segregation. Gradually, the laws that kept Americans separate began to change. Years later, I saw that my family and other African American families were like the pioneers that settled the American West. Like those pioneers, we left all we knew, faced dangers, and started new lives, hoping for a better future. Changes can be challenging, but for the most part, they work out for the better. I'm so glad she changed her mind about moving north. Segregation was very unfair and caused a great many problems for African Americans. Even though segregation is over, there are still problems today. Remember to always treat others the way you want to be treated. If everyone would do that, there would be great changes for the better. Meanwhile, thanks so much for watching Going North at Read Aloud Stories with Mrs. R. Until next time, don't forget to read.